Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you? The person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website. Uh, spirituallyglue.com for you to view all of the different options for readings. Okay. So, I, I, I see growth happening for you, Libra, but in a way that it's like not as much as you want it to be. Um, but the thing is, it's like, I'm seeing two fives here. Things are still in the works of changing. It's like, as things are changing, we're like, we're going from the f four to the five. It's like, you're going from four of pentacles to five of pentacles. You got one extra pentacle and maybe you wanted like seven more or, or like nine more, you know, to get that to that 10, that like ultimate goal or destination, but the thing is, it's not that it's not happening. It's just not the right time for it yet. Um, and actually, the right time is actually in the near future. So remain positive. They're asking you to stay positive. It's like, how can you stay positive in the midst of the fog? How can you stay positive in the discomfort? How can you choose um, to look at things in a positive light? So it feels like this is a lesson for you right now, Libra, where you're basically being, and not only that, but like also learning to listen to your intuition more when things feel not right or when something is uncertain for you you're being challenged to tap in and tune into yourself even though you're here for this reading even though i'm telling you these things they are asking you or that they're challenging you to tune into yourself tune into what you what you're feeling about a situation okay maybe it feels like there's going to be more challenges maybe it feels like th the challenges will be worth it in the end but it's like it's all happening in the near future i'm seeing yes in your outcome so yeah there's a peaceful resolution here in the near future happening very quickly and very soon and it, it's hard to stay positive when you've been waiting for so long or when you've been um yeah basically when you've been waiting for so long i i feel you <laughs> i feel you but it's like things are in the midst of change right now so things need to change or certain circumstances need to shift in order for there to be a shift within yourself or even a shift within your own energy before some an opportunity can open up here for there to be a resolution okay Tell me about this four of coins, ace of coins. Okay, so some of you have started something new and you're, you've started to see growth or it's like not in the beginning stages anymore. Um, and you're like, I, I thought this would be a lot further by now. And it's not. And it feels like things are still tight or you're still struggling in a way. Um, but your breakthrough is like in the near future like around the corner okay what are what is, what is this struggle about some of you are feeling like there's a lack of security in a situation 
or sense of, yeah, like unease. Three of swords, okay. Unease, disappointment, or even like feeling upset about the fact that there's that something is is struggling right now some of you are feeling like um an, a situation around you or someone is around you is seeing something with you as like n possibly not working out and you're feeling uneasy about that and you there some of you it's um a situation where there's a lot of distance because I'm seeing a boat and I'm seeing this world. It may be a struggle to create more changes because there's so much of a distance between you and the thing that you want. But we'll see. Okay. Well, Libra. You... Or it's like, I feel like right now you're in the midst of change or you're in the midst of ending something with that death card. What is this that's ending? It feels like, yeah, you're closing your door on something. You, ooh, Libra, you may be like closing a door on other options. Or other options or someone who made you an option. I mean, what is, okay. Yeah, I feel like you're closing your door on a, a situation or a person, specifically could be a person who, there could be an age difference. You have closed off your emotions to focus more on your abundance and your long-term goals because you're, you're, you see your worth are you you are in a process of growing your own self love going through your own journey of self love and i do see you as wanting to nurture uh, a new beginning in your life clarify this empress yeah it feels like cuz you know your worth you you see yourself as an empress or you know how much love you give or nurturement that you give to a situation. It's like the Empress is literally the mother of the deck, the one that gives birth, like giving the gives birth to things. So it's like you you see yourself in such a high, in a, such a like positive sh way that you're saying no to whatever doesn't bring you a sense of like safety or sense of ease. And I feel like you do have options around you though, Libra. You have options or options are opening up to you. Offers are opening up to you. I honestly see a sense of like competition for you, Libra. Like people are going to be like competing, competing for you. And you're in this Empress energy of just receiving, relaxing, being in this like more yin feminine state. Okay. Tell me about the seven of coins reversed. Oh. Interesting. Someone feels like um, something is like ruined almost. Because they didn't trust they didn't trust their intuition. They feel like something is not going to work out or yeah, like with this, there's flames in this tower and they're like, the more they look at it, the more like, oh, I, I can't fix this or like, I just don't know how to fix this. Um, someone's like, wants there to be a peaceful resolution or wants to fix something, but is like, I don't know how to fix this. If you do have someone on your mind, think of this. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about the situation with you, Libra. Yeah, 
Okay. They're seeing you as having your heart open to a new beginning or a new love. Terrify the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Some of you, the, 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 you, this is someone new. You Or you have someone new coming towards you who's um, traditional. Or they're looking at this situation and figuring out if this is something that you two are going to be on the same page about when it comes to um, having certain traditions and you may have grown in different cultures type of situation but they're they're seeing you as being open to something emotionally or going through an emotional time right now and they do feel a sense of trust trust here trust for you or they feel like um you're they're learning something from you you like you're teaching them things but they do feel like um, something needs to be done soon in, in the near future in order for things to be right between the both of you. And I feel like this person um, is trying to find that light or clarity on how to do that. Reflections, they're reflecting deeply on themselves right now. Clarify the devil as um, their act. Okay. They want to talk. They want to talk. They want to invest more time into um, giving to this energetically. Yeah. So it's like they're coming towards you in order to give give more to this in hopes of there being a, a peaceful resolution. Okay. Clarify this by the one. Some of you are seeing 555, which is showing me there being a, a change that may be challenging at first. Yeah. Okay, with that death card. So I feel like you're in the midst of it right now where you are um, definitely letting something go or you're closing a door right now in order to say yes to a new beginning in your life, in order to say yes to some, something new or a new relationship, a new person, a new offer. Um, you're listening to your intuition and you're being led your intuition is leading you towards celebrations towards your soul tribe towards um, an outcome that is going to be filled with more growth so after the two of cups we go to the three of cups so that is the growth of a connection that you have with someone, whether that be platonic or romantic, something is growing here and it's definitely something new. I mean, you got competition coming in for you, Libra. <laughs> competition. With, with that seven of cups around you. Hmm. I feel like you want to say yes to something, but you're also very guarded. And your guards may be hurting someone. Or someone's hurt by the fact that you're you're guarded over this. Okay. Tell me about this yes in the near future. Because you're going to be saying yes to something. Or someone saying yes to something here towards taking action towards movement okay and choose a new direction what i've been saying you're going to be saying yes to choosing like a new direction or doing something in a different way 
I'm seeing the numbers four, seven, five, five, three. Those numbers could be birthdays, special days, synchronicities. I'm seeing the letters R, P, I, N, U, S, T, Y. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye, Libra.